How to launch apps with trackpad gestures. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Now I use Google Chrome as my main browser. Some of you may not agree with that, whatever the case may be. But the point of this video is to show you how I can use a five finger tap gesture or any gesture for that matter to quickly get back to my Google Chrome window, wherever I may be on my Mac. So I could be on a whole different space uh, in a full screen app somewhere else and then quickly use a trackpad gesture courtesy of Better Touch tool to get back to my Chrome window. So what I like to do is I like to hide my, um, my dock on the screen here and I like to hide the menu bar. So I wanted a creative way to launch apps without actually unhiding or viewing the dock. So what I use is Better Touch tool. So here's how I do it. What I do is I click global, click add new gesture, and then I select a five finger tap. You can use any gesture you want to use, but I just like the five finger tap because it's not something I can easily do by mistake. The next thing you want to do is select a predefined action. So I'll just click here and then I'll select controlling other applications, hit the little disclosure triangle and then select open application right here. And then I'll just select the application of my choosing. Like I said before, I'm going to use Google Chrome in this example. So we just select it and then click open. Now, whenever I tap on my trackpad with five fingers, it's going to automatically, no matter where I am on my Mac, get back to Google Chrome, just like this. Pretty sweet. So that allows me to keep my dock hidden. I can be in a different space. Just five finger tap allows me to quickly get back to the application that I assigned. In this case, of course, it is Google Chrome. So I really like this gesture. I love Better Touch Tool. There's so many things you can do with it. We'll have much more coverage on Better Touch Tool in the future. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.